opportunity to care for this device it is something that is very sacred and it is one of several that has been held in safe keeping around the world for over 60 years I have talked with many of the other people who have found these devices and now we know and are learning what the responsibility and what some of the functions are of these devices truly truly a technology that is so far advanced from anything that humans have yet to even scratch the surface of This is what so many people have tried to say doesn't exist or simply is a figment of someone's imagination. It has symbols across the front of it. This is what I found in the forest in 1996 when I first encountered the creature or the alien. I believe that it's some kind of bioelectric uh, interface between the wearer of this device and the owners of it that they actually activate it. It has three needles on the inside that actually penetrate your arm, the wearer of this, that I think creates a uh, interface, biological interface with the device and or the beings who use it. So my impression of it is that it's designed to keep control and communication between the extraterrestrial and their superiors. I believe it fits on your arm, the wearer's arm like this. If you push down, <clears throat> the needles penetrate your skin, tissue, into the nerves of your arm there is some pain to it but it quickly quickly goes away it becomes kind of a cold almost a frozen type feeling very quickly that pain subsides but if it functions which sometimes it doesn't it starts a throbbing inside your chest literally a pulsation inside your chest that starts from the center and emanates to your extremities and becomes harder and harder. And then when that happens, then it starts to be activated by, ah, ah, there, now I can feel it. I can feel it in my chest. Ah, it's painful. But if I hold my chest, it has a tendency to be less painful. And then they make the decision ah, ah, whether